Police say the man who shot and killed a North Lake College student before killing himself left behind a suicide note. Hello, everybody. I'm Heather Hayes. I'm Steve Eager. It's 9 o'clock. They haven't revealed where that note was found or what was in it. And the family of the victim, 20-year-old Janira Gonzalez, says they had never heard of the man who killed her, 21-year-old Adrian Torres. Fox Force Lynn Ann Wynn is at the Irving campus tonight with more on what the victim's family is just now learning. Lynn Ann. Well, Steve, Heather, Janira Gonzalez's family says that she and Torres never dated, but they are just now learning from some of her friends that she may have rejected some of his advances. I spoke to Gonzalez's brother today who says that she never mentioned any problems and probably didn't think the situation was that serious until it was too late for her. For the first time since Wednesday's shooting at North Lake College, students stepped on campus to get some of their belongings left behind in the chaos of evacuating. One student didn't want his face shown on camera, but says he was sitting on a bench with 20-year-old Janira Gonzalez when 21-year-old Adrian Torres walked up to her and shot her before walking to another part of the school and killing himself. He said, do you know why I'm here? And then yeah, three shots were fired rapidly, like one, two, three. And I saw the flash and I heard the fire and I immediately knew that was a gunshot. Police found Torres dead with a handgun nearby in a locker room shower stall in a different building. My daughter didn't deserve to die this way. Almost immediately, word reached Gonzalez's family. There was a shooting at her school. Not knowing who the shooting victim was, the family rushed to the school, sending frantic messages on social media and asking if anyone had seen her. But as parents were reuniting with their kids Wednesday afternoon, the Gonzalez family quickly realized they were the only ones left. It started putting, you know, two and two together, and I said, look, tell me something or I'm going to go in there and look up. You know, for my daughter. Gonzalez's family says she was a graduate of Irving High School, member of the National Honor Society, and just two weeks shy of getting her associate's degree with dreams of going into psychology or becoming a teacher. Now somebody took her future from her. She'll never have a, a real career. She'll never buy her first car. She'll never buy a house. She'll never have kids. Adrian Torres is a former student at North Lake College. Her family tells me they've never heard of him before, but say friends have since come forward, saying Torres took perhaps too much of an interest in Gonzalez after she recently dated one of his friends. They just thought he's just a weird guy. You know, he's not all there in the head. He just has a crush on her. But in his head, he was in the relationship with my sister. Now with Torres dead, they may never get answers or justice. She gave everybody a chance, and I'm guessing that's why she never really thought this guy was a threat. Gonzalez leaves behind her parents, two siblings, and a nephew. Her family is planning a vigil at her old high school for Monday night at 7, 7 o'clock. Uh, 730 I mean and all classes and events here at North Lake College are canceled until Monday. Heather back all to right. you. All right, Lynn Ann, thank you.